After all of our filters are in and everything is in here, now we gotta go into actually our checks on the compressor. A lot of things we have to check is electrical connections in there. Over time and over heat and over cycles, the copper wire inside those connectors, inside the compartment, start to loosen up. A big cause of failure with a compressor is people that don't go in and actually physically tighten up those wires. Another thing that we need to do is we need to clean the coolers on this. This is an oil flooded unit, so it has a cooler, an oil cooler to bring the temperature down. Our temperature operating range is 180 to 210. To maintain that, we gotta keep the face of the cooler really clean. One of the other things we do is this is a belt driven unit. We need to make sure we check the tension on the belts. Belts should be changed about once a year, depending on run times. But we'd like to check the tension of the belts and the condition of the belts. And that's done through the backside of the unit really by a visual inspection. Once we get all those things done and we start to button the unit back up and put it back into play, one of the last things we want to check is we want to check the tank drain. The unit is, uh, is mounted on a tank and has a lot of condensate that builds up in the bottom of it. We need to make sure that the scavenge lines and the screens are really clean with it and all the timers are set correctly and everything is all operating good there. So now that we have gone through and made a lot of checks and did all, changed all our filters and went through everything on the machine, at this time we're going to reassemble our compartments, put all our cabinet back together. We could unlock the machine, re-energize the power to it, re-energize the air source. We would go through our controller at this point to see if there's any maintenance reminders or timers in here that we have to reset and get them back together to the next level. Make sure our dryer's on, start the unit. We're gonna let the unit run, come up to temperature and pressure for a while, monitor our temperatures, shut the unit back down and recheck our oil levels and make sure all of our leaks are good and everything is good. After we're comfortable with that, we're gonna put the unit back online and turn it into the system.